Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hello, hello. The day Welcome. has arrived, has it not? Yes, the big day. Yeah. Oh my, oh my. The big reveal of the property. Yes. A complete tour of the hotel in the woods, <laughs> the houses, the current condition. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, just uh, it's, we're going to show you as much as we can today. Yes, exactly. So we're going to be heading into the property. I'm actually going to take you this way a little bit. Ooh, horse poop. So you can kind of see the growth behind me. That's all of ours back there. We haven't entered the property yet, but that's kind of what you see from the yeah, side Yeah, there's of the road. a couple different paths. So this would be an alternate Ooh, one. Yeah. We're going to take the main way in. So mm -hmm. we'll open the, there's a little makeshift gate mm -hmm. and in we go. And in we go and we'll show you what we've gotten ourselves into, what we are about to begin renovating one building at a time. Yeah, exactly. And same with landscaping. And just a, a little a little warning that you may hear some barking dogs. They're, yes. uh, they're all friendly, but they, uh, they obviously are, they're doing their territorial guard dog duty yes. by barking when, when people come in. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, you'll probably hear a bit of that. Um, let's go in without let's, further ado. Let's, let's do it. Well, here it begins. We have the entrance to the house. There's a fallen tree yeah. over the path. And as you can see on either side of the trail or the driveway going into the property, the vegetation really is quite overgrown. So I would say it's actually worse on this side. And here I'm going to introduce you to a plant that is very well known around these parts. You know the name. Yeah, the Sarsamora. Sarsamora. But basically this plant is a crawling blackberry. So it'll grow a shoot and then dig back into the ground and then it'll sprout more shoots back into the ground and more and more until it looks this it way. It's ta-da. Basically the, the weeds of this particular property. Of the area, of the really. area of the of the entire area, yeah. Apparently, it's something that like needs to be managed, like throughout the year. It's not like something you just, you know, cut once a year or something. Like yeah. there needs to be some serious management of it. And um, I mean, we've got twenty years of growth here, so you can imagine the uh, <laughs> the expansion mm -hmm. in the property. It's just uh, it's literally taken over. So yeah. we could have a, a basically a plantation here. <laughs> <laughs> A blackberry plantation. And I'll mention like this plant, you can also find it in Patagonia. It's not just in the province of Cordoba or like this particular region. Uh, it just, it loves the climate apparently. And then on the other side, we have less sarsa, but we do have a lot of just bushes that have grown over the years. And yeah, there's definitely landscaping work to be done over here. So that's actually our first step to find people who are interested in kind of like clearing this growth and eventually landscaping in the sense of making it beautiful. Yeah. But first we got to clean. First we got to clean. Yeah. And we got to get in there. Got to get in there. In retrospect, noon probably isn't the best time for us to be filming here because the lights and the shadows are going to be quite harsh. Uh, but <laughs> we'll show you what we can. And we are going to be starting out with the oldest house in the property. This one was built first. It dates back to the 40s and it's like a little two bedroom chalet. So. I actually used to live in this property as a child, for those of you who don't know the full story. Um, but basically I moved here when I was six years old uh, because my parents were running the hotel that's also on the property. And this was actually the first house I lived in when we first arrived. Don't remember how long I was in here because I don't remember how long we actually lived in this one because afterwards we moved to a bigger one. We are a family of five. <laughs> But yeah, this here is the chalet. It has a nice stone exterior. So you have specific, what's one specific memory you have from a here? A specific memory? Yeah. Oh, I've got a good one. Yeah. So I remember my first morning waking up here, mm -hmm. like after we had moved from Canada to Argentina, 
and like I woke up and I could hear little birds chirping and I was looking around at the ceiling trying to figure out where am I? Like this is not our apartment in Montreal and like you know we're just kind of confused and disoriented for a while and it's like what is this place? And it takes a few seconds for it to click in and it's like oh yeah we moved. New home. New home, new That's environment, <laughs> new animal sounds, the yeah. sounds of nature, trading mm -hmm. in the big city honking horns for, yes. for the sounds of chirping birds. Exactly. So that's my first memory in this house. That's a trade-off I'd be uh, more than willing to do. Yeah, city for country living. <laughs> yeah. I like the country a lot more. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is interesting. We actually did a little bit of work here mm. two years ago, clearing some, clearing some stuff. And it's apparent that, yeah, two years of growth uh, will produce a lot of, uh, of vegetation. Yeah. So yeah, we've got, uh, we certainly have, uh, our work cut out for us mm -hmm. in this particular part, but, um, yeah, it's going to be exciting to get started. Yeah. So I'll take you around this, this house or we'll go as far as we can, just so you get a quick overview. Uh, we're not going in today. This is just meant to be at a glance. Um, yeah. I don't know what all of these plants are. Like what's this here, for example? It looks like it's a plant that really likes moisture. This is an area with a lot of shade. Here a motorbike. So yeah. We'll go through here. We'll go around. So when we were here just before the pandemic, uh, because the plan was to like come down and get started in April of 2020, obviously a month before that, March 2020, the pandemic began and like borders closed, Argentina and Canada closed, you know, we couldn't go anywhere. But we had been here a couple of months prior and we actually removed all the ivy from the building. Not because it's not beautiful, but we needed to see the condition of the house and we had an architect come over and just look at it, see, see how it is. Because like I said, this is an old house. It is from the 40s. So there you have it. I really like the stone look. Climbing ivy, wooden shutters. It's got a real classic, yeah. classic look. Yeah, it just, it just screams character, doesn't it? <laughs> like it's got loads of oozes character. Yeah. They just don't make make homes really like this very much anymore. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, my goodness, it'll be interesting to see what it's like inside yeah. when we eventually get in. But um, for now, this is what it looks like on the outside. Yes. And back here, we have a tree that produces a type of nut. It's kind of like a hazelnut, but a longer hazelnut. And pigs really like to eat it. They like dig it up with their snout. So we have that tree back there. So... Yes, I think that is it for this house and we will continue on to one of the other buildings. Meowsies are skittish. Hi Meows! Hi Meowsies! <laughs> okay, so now we are continuing over to house number two. This was the next house that I lived in after we moved out of the chalet. This one is, well, it's also an old house, but not as old as the other one. Um, it has four bedrooms, little bedrooms. And yeah, this one is known as La Osteria because it used to be a place where like you could rent out bedrooms to workers or people in the area. It was originally built uh, as a place like to rent out bedrooms, access to a bathroom, and then a shared communal kitchen uh, living dining area. So this house is also in pretty, pretty rough shape, uh, but this was home sweet home for many years. This up here, this little tower, there used to be an owl that lived in there and you could hear it hoot hooting <laughs> um, at night. So, we'll just walk along here. Oh, pepperoni! Hi, pepperoni, how exciting! So yeah, vegetation, really overgrown. This is a cool detail, this arch. It kind of has a bit of a Spanish 
colonial style, colonial flair. So yeah, like I mentioned today, it's just a quick overview. We're kind of showing you the exterior, but we're not going inside. And then that was the back side of the house. Right now, okay, this area is open. Yeah, so now we're in the front where you kind of have this brick terrace courtyard area. So yeah, the light actually is quite harsh, but hopefully you're getting an idea. This is, that's the plan with today's video. Nothing super fancy. We're just trying to give you an idea of what we're going to be working on. There you have it, folks. We have a lot of work ahead of us, but honestly, I'm just super excited because I know the potential. I know what it has the potential to look like at its peak when it's well taken care of, when there's someone who, you know, is like tending to the landscape and upkeeping the houses. And I know how beautiful it was at one point and I know what it can be. And I'm also a person who likes challenges. I don't really shy away from hard work. And I feel like the harder the project, the more rewarding it is. So yeah, I'm, I'm super pumped to get started with this. So that is construction number two. There is still more left to see in this place. Mm -hmm. Little meow thing. It rolled over and purred though. It rolled over and purred and then the dog came and he's like, no, I want the pets, not the cat. Then meow sees. A ver, eres un descendiente de Morris? Eres un descendiente de mi gato? Does it look like Morris? Yeah. Also, I am super amused by the fact that a lot of the cats in the area... Is there a real... Oh, sorry, you're talking. Yeah. I'm telling a story. All the cats in the area, like the one we just met here on the property and the one at the neighbor's property, they look a lot like this cat Morris we used to have. And he was a wild, free roaming cat who just lived in the wilderness, sometimes showed up for food a few times a week, but they all look like him. <sighs> they have the same coloring. The same coloring? Coloration? Yeah, so I wonder if they could be his descendants. Ah, uh, most likely. This is all salsa. You need thick pants here, some jeans, because everything is trying to like grab you and scratch you and eat you, especially the salsa. Okay, so we found the third house I was looking for just behind me over my shoulder. I, I feel a little bit like Indiana Jones. Yeah. You know? Crawl it, going through almost like the, the, it's not the jungle, but it's the thick forest in search of a... Uh, a lost treasure. A lost treasure. <laughs> and alas, we found it. It's, <laughs> it's behind us right yeah. there. Did so, you ever dream of being an Indiana Jones? Well... Yeah, sure. Like covered but in branches? Like... It, it, most definitely. And I mean, wow. Like we didn't see this the last time we came here. No. So no. this is fascinating. It's a completely different, um, sh uh, the, the house is completely different than the other two. I'm going to step down. I look like a little giant next to you. Yeah. Not a little, a giant giant. So I mean, I, I don't have a full view of the house from here. Apparently there were stairs before. Yes. But what I can see uh, it's a completely different type of architecture mm -hmm. from the other two houses. So yeah. it's totally distinct. It's more of a rectangular shape. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get down there and uh, film it a bit more. Yeah, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about it. So basically this third construction here, I think it was originally built to house workers. It's kind of a simple house, two bedrooms, but this is also where my granny used to live. And so this isn't like my official 
grandma grandma like we're related by blood but still this person was very important to me and to our family uh, her name was Anna and she was like a second mom to my dad and a grandma to me so she lived here and I spent a lot of time visiting her in this little house we can't actually get down at the moment because the sarsa has grown there you have it and covered everything but there used to be like a, a curving staircase that went down and then you could access this little house which has a tree growing right next to it that that is not good um but anyway okay that's the third house what else can i show you we've got the old dog house our dog uh, bonnie used to live there Bonnie was a German Shepherd and then her brother Jesse had another little dog house as well. Audrey. Yes. I just thought of something uh, interesting here. What? So if we can't get down there, the drone might be able to get down there. Yeah. Yeah, we might be able to launch it. But I think it would be a lot more interesting to see if we can get down there though. So you want to try? Yeah, let's give it a shot. We, we, we should obviously be safe, but okay. I mean, you, you kind of know the lay of the land better than me. Yeah, so. okay, so instead of trying the stairs, let's try and take this trail, because there's a winding trail that goes behind the house. Uh, we should be able to walk through here. We also need to kind of be careful because there are wild boars in the area. Uh, so we got to be mindful of that. Uh, they do have tusks. So our, our strategy is to leap over them? Leap the over them or like try to climb a tree if you can. Yeah, I'm actually kind of joking about the leaping. The thing would be to, you'd want to get against a tree and block yourself from their, their, the charging and their tusks. Yeah. And you'd also want to have a stick to swing at it. So. Oh! Yeah, obviously. Oh. But um, hopefully you won't see one today. <laughs> is that, was that yours? Yeah, probably. Was that your bike from My way back when? Bike? Could be. That is, wow. So this place definitely needs to be cleared quite a bit. Um, I can't believe we were able to get down here. That's yeah. awesome. I mean, this gives us an idea of what we could potentially be working on mm -hmm. over the next coming weeks. We could at least try to clear some space around the, 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 two, the two houses mm -hmm. and around the hotel. That would be, uh, that'd be great progress for, you know, just starting off. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so just getting that vegetation away from the homes so that there's no further damage. And um, yeah, just, just starting to clear a little moat around these places. Yeah, also so that we can get the workers in because it's hard to work on the construction if you can't reach the building. True, I mean, yeah, this was a little bit of a tricky path to get here, um, but at least we made it down and and this is the first time for me to see this, uh, this third house on the property. So mm -hmm. interesting for sure. So now that we have shown you the three houses on this property, uh, we are going to continue on towards the business aspect, which is the hotel. There is a Spanish colonial style hotel that was actually built during the 80s. And this is the business that my parents used to run while our family lived here. So I have lots of fond memories from this time. Ow, Sarsa got me. And yeah, we're just gonna give you a little tour of that. And again, I'm just brimming with ideas of the potential, the future, what it can be, what it can look like. So yeah, super excited. Just waiting for Sam to get here. Walking down the path. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. He's here. He's here. Yeah. He's here. Here we go. Let's go. So over there, there's a nice long place to walk. It's a back path to the bedrooms. Let's check it out.
still out of breath. So basically, now we're in the front side of the hotel. We have this beautiful L-shaped gallery, eight bedrooms on this wing, then another four where it turns. And <laughs> in front of me, we have three stone terraces. They're like three level terraces where it used to be all grass and beautiful dahlias and then just views of the mountains, views of the Sierras. Obviously, you cannot see that at the moment, you cannot appreciate it, but it is behind there. It's just a little hidden by the vegetation that has grown. So yeah, all these trees need to go. Needs to go. But this is a little peek at the hotel. Yeah, this is the part, this is my favorite part. Um, yeah. It's just beautiful, the, the arches you have here. Mm -hmm. And I suppose once we do some serious landscaping, this is where we're going to get the most beautiful views of the mountains, the actual Sierras of Cordoba. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is where the most work needs to be done. Um, loads of stuff needs to be cleared. But we'll see what we can get done over these coming weeks. I mean, we might be able to cobble together some crews and uh, get them out, get those chainsaws. <laughs> Actually, that's not what a chainsaw sounds like. <laughs> no, that's just getting good. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely, huh? Well, guys, not only am I running low on battery, but my camera is also starting to overheat. And I think good timing because that sort of concludes our tour, our overview of the property. Yeah, I mean, this was the exterior tour. Yes. We've got some fascinating things to show you inside. You have a collection of keys so yes. we can open up the hotel rooms and, and uh, someday we're going to kick in that door for the, uh, the chalet. But until then, yeah, this is a, this is a great, uh, I think I thought we gave you guys a great overview of like, yes. what we're, what we're working with, what we're dealing with here. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's exciting. It's just, it's just go time. We, mm -hmm. anything we do is progress. Yeah. So, yeah. So if you guys want to be a part of this journey, there is a lot of work ahead. So hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, give us a like, leave us a comment. Any type of support is really appreciated because that way YouTube will actually show you what's to come and we have a lot of videos oh coming up. Oh gosh, yeah, this is, this is like, this isn't just a series, this is a, uh, yeah. <laughs> a lifetime this project. A, this is a lifetime uh, project, so uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to it. And also a reminder, we'll have travel content too. Yes. So uh, stay tuned for all of it. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Ciao. Ciao. See you.